Hello, come on in, let's cook together today. Today we're making a barbecue sauce. It is a blue ribbon barbecue sauce, and I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. Now we're gonna start with just basic ingredients, and these are great quality ingredients. So just remember when you're making sauces to always use the best quality ingredients that you can get. We're gonna start with three cups of ketchup, and I'm gonna put it in this pan. We're also gonna talk about our barbecue season, that you know it's nice weather and everybody's barbecuing or tailgating. So you know, now's the time to get these great recipes. We're gonna start then with one cup of honey. And I use a great honey, uh, one that the bees have not been fed. There's a difference if it, they have been fed, which means with sugar, your honey will turn to sugar. So there's another little cooking tip. We're gonna start with one cup of molasses. The original recipe did call for two cups of molasses, but I prefer to use some honey to sort of cut back on the bitterness with your uh, molasses, and it gives it a little bit lighter texture. Okay, so we have that in there. Then we're going to start with three tablespoons of chili powder. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of garlic, two tablespoons of black pepper, we're gonna start with two tablespoons of Worcestershire, and that's just an option. We're gonna have four tablespoons of brown sugar, and I like the dark brown sugar versus the light brown sugar. It gives a little bit more color. Then we're gonna have a half a cup of vinegar. That's going in. And I like mine to have a little bit of a kick, so I have two tablespoons of hot sauce. Just remember when you're buying hot sauce to always read the ingredients. Pepper should be the first ingredient. So whatever is first is what is the best ingredient, which was pepper with mine. Vinegar or water, then you know it's a weak sauce. Now we're gonna stir this up. And now this will go on low heat and it needs to simmer for one hour. And as it simmers, it will get thicker. So I'm gonna set this to the side and I already have a pan prepared because it's taken an hour for it to simmer, but I want you to look to see how thick and rich this is. This also is great to put uh, in a jar if you wanna give it as a gift, but I have some wings already cooked that I've got sitting right here, and I'm going to show you how that I fix my wings at home. So what we do is I have my wings in a separate uh, bowl or pan, and I've already cooked them, and um, we don't like a lot of greasy food, so it's just barely been uh, braised a little bit and uh, steam cooked, more or less. Anyways, I'm dipping my sauce over my wings here and splattering barbecue sauce everywhere as I go. Now I'm gonna set this back down. You can also use this on uh, wings. Uh, you can use it on your uh, little uh, Smokies. I love Smokies. Everybody loves Smokies. Their favorite at any party. Now, once you get your wings uh, coated, if you want to, you can put them back on your grill and get them really hot and get that little crusty glaze on them that, you know, it's that little crunchy stuff that you like and just want to smack your mouth when you do. And I want you to come visit me also on Facebook, but just remember it's about the sauce. It's about the sauce. Now I'm gonna place these there. And don't those things look yummy, yummy, yummy? Uh, I do want you to uh, send me some little messages on my Facebook and come see our new extension that we have. It, to me, I am really proud as punch about it. It is gorgeous. And you know what, I think I'm gonna have to have me one of these wings before that train comes to get me. Cause the next thing I know, I'll be hearing the whistle blow out there and I'm gonna have to run and catch that train. So I have one wing left and I'm gonna eat it. So I hope that you enjoy my recipe and come see me. And I'm taking a big old bite so my mouth will be full. Mm, 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 yummy, yummy. Bye.